Grace and peace be multiplied unto you, brother and sister. Welcome back. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I hope all is well. And uh, today is just another message as to what is going on. And uh, my hopes is that just as a person wakes up from sleeping, you know, certain things help the person transition from sleep to waking up and becoming fully alert. Some people have coffee. Some people wash their faces, brush their teeth. Some people need a cold shower. But usually there's a little something that makes a person a little more aware, more alert. And hopefully that little something is prayer. <laughs> Praise God. It's a beautiful thing to wake up and want to pray and praise and worship. Praise Jesus. So my hopes is that this video uh, will help you a bit uh, with the waking up and seeing what's going on, as I'm sure that most of you are aware, but to see things in a different light so that we be not fooled. And the Lord Jesus Christ did tell us, be not deceived. So there's a lot of words that I'm going to leave out. However, I'm going to show you the words, uh, videos, and images on the screen. This way, you know what I'm talking about. So I advise you from time to time to please look at the screen. This way, you know as to what I'm making reference to. So first, I wanted to start talking about everything that is going on nowadays as People may see social media, TikTok, YouTube, and just other platforms that keep most videos up because some platforms take some videos down. So with that being said, the Lord once again told us, be not deceived. So let me see if I can get the image up on the screen. Okay, and there we have the, what I wanted to talk about this thing, right? And I uh, hope you can see. And they say that it's putting this in a person's head. And then look at the size of that thing. Uh, going inside the head in order to control, not only control, but to have the person interact with a certain interface, right? But I tell you, brother and sister, be not deceived this right here it already happened and it's going on as we speak it already happened now this is how it happens you see they like to tell people to their face what it is that they're doing and what actually happens look at that can you imagine that so why do i say that it already happened because these things that were inserted inside of people uh, when the person was poked in a particular place uh, like the arm it inserted something which is very very technologically advanced so advanced that it's in liquid form you see this thing and it's so, 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 so advanced that all these things are very, very, very small and one cannot see them with the naked eye, you see? They're so small that one needs a microscope to see these things and it has to be magnified many, many times to be able to see these things. So you see, while people are talking about having some kind of surgery in the head to implant this thing, it's already, it, it was already done. And they're saying that this thing is going to be is going to be so that it can control people. That's already done. You see these things? They're already circulating inside the person. You see? And multiplying and assembling uh, itself and inside of the person's head, the mind, 
and the heart and bloodstream. You see, this is technology right here. And it has a router system where it sends signals and receives signals. And if a person has, let me go back just to show you this thing, this symbol right here, which is, you know, when someone wants to connect to the car, when someone wants to connect to another phone, to a TV, usually they use that signal and it emits all those items are emitting a signal because they want to communicate with one another. And so the people that took this, they're emitting a signal and they're receiving signals. So this right here is, is a deception making a person think that, hey, this is, this is what we're working on. This is what's coming when it's already a done deal. Are they working on something? Yeah. Is something else coming? Yeah, but... I want you to see something and I want I'm going to give you an, an analogy, right? That is like saying, you know, back in the day, people used to travel long distances, kings and queens and those that could afford it in chariots. Look at the tech, look at this. This is nano. This is very very small. One cannot see it with the naked eye. This is very, very advanced. And it has a router, it has a whole system in it. Multiple systems. So all that to say, see, this is a chariot right here. Right? And it looks like, you know, a real one of how they used to have it back in the day. What if you heard that there's a company right now that's designing a chariot? And they show you these pictures and they're like, look, this is what we're working on. This is going to be our latest chariot for transportation. And now remember, brother and sister, this is an analogy. If they showed you this picture and they said, this is going to be the latest one. This is what we're working on. The fabric is going to be cool. Look at this one. It's got a canopy, the one in the bottom that goes up and down to protect the person from the sun. This is, this is our latest models. This is what we're going to be working on for next year. This is what's coming out for transportation. We're going to make these chariots. You may think, wait a minute, because you know that there's modern vehicles. There's vehicles that are, that charges with, that charge with electricity. There's vehicles that run on gas. There's vehicles that run on all sorts of petroleum. Uh, there's another one that's called. There's even cars that run on diesel. So we got diesel fuel. We got gasoline. And as you know, there's high grade, mid grade and low grade gasoline. You know that there's cars that are efficient, that have uh, MP3 players inside the cars. But yeah, they're telling you that they're working on this. You're going to be like, what? Have we gone back in time? So the reason why I bring forth this analogy is to show you that, look at this. This is very, very advanced, very, very sophisticated. One cannot see. Self-replicating. This is the technology that's available, and yet they're telling you they're working on something like this. So they've gone back in time. You see? Kind of like the modern vehicles and the chariots. How are you going to have something that's so small, so small, that can influence, that can control, that can multiply, that has a router system? And then they're going to go back to this. That's part of the deception because all these right here are signals from those that took that thing that's really, really small. This is where it's at. So it's already happened. So when they're talking about all these things to control, it's already happened. They're pretty much telling you what's going to happen with 
with this. That's what they're really talking about. While people are waiting for something else. Then you have these, these things, which are lights. And see, I'm not going to be able to say the word together. But maybe I can show you the word. Because this is, there we go. See the word right there? Opto. And look at the definition. You know what that is? Is a biological technique to control the activity of the neurons or other cells with different types of light, with light. You see? So with this, what can they do? Control the cells with the light. So that would explain why we have these. Why do you think you've noticed these out on the street? Not by accident, not by coincidence, but because that's where the real control to influence this. So now I want to show you a video, and this is with mice. And what they do with the mouse is they sent out the signal. Look at this. Please pay close attention. You see? Look at this. So they send the light with the signal with certain megahertz, with certain frequencies to what? To affect the behavior. See right there? It says S-T-I-M off. And now they turned it on and look at the behavior, how it's been modified with light. Why? Because they, they've influenced this, this mouse. And they're making an effort to influence and now they turned it off as you can see in the bottom of the screen. And you can see. See, this is the goal. This is why you see those lights out in the street. It is not because they look nice or anything like that. It's because there's a plan. And the plan is to influence and to control the cells in the body to react. Now, in order for this light to work, the signal has to be sent. You see, the same thing happens with the towers, right? So now I wanted to show you another video and pay attention to this one. Everything has its own resonant frequency. Through this frequency, you can transmit energy and information. Graphene oxide has multiple resonant frequencies. One of them is 26 gigahertz, which will be a frequency used in a new 5G infrastructure. This is an example of how you can use frequencies to affect other objects tuned to the same frequency. This, now, this, one, this part of the video right here is very important. Pay attention because he, he has a tuning fork. So he strikes one tuning fork and it does nothing to the other tuning fork because they're not at the same frequency. However, when he gets the tuning fork at the right frequency, pay attention because it does affect. And this has a lot to do with what's going on. We're going to talk about this. Let me zoom in a little bit. All right. Pay attention. This man is striking a tuning fork that vibrates at a certain frequency. He is trying to get another tuning fork of a different resonant frequency to vibrate unsuccessfully. Only when he uses a tuning fork set to the same resonant frequency will it vibrate. Watch how the second tuning fork is activated. This is called sympathetic resonance. So that was important. Let me go back on that a little bit. Look at this. Sympathetic resonance. Unsuccessfully. Only when he uses a tuning fork set to the same resonant frequency will it vibrate. Watch how the second tuning fork is activated. This is called sympathetic resonance. Remember, there's a scripture that says iron and clay do not mix. They won't cleave together. And so you saw how he had a tuning fork. It was not at the same frequency and it didn't affect the other tuning fork. But when one of the tuning forks was at the same frequency, when it was struck, it affected the other one. 
Now think about it. This thing that went into people is emitting and receiving. So all that has to be done, the tuning fork that's under on the other end, once it's activated, is going to affect the tuning fork that's at the same frequency. And the reason why it's at the same frequency is because of the technology that was inserted there. You see? And this is bound to happen. And it's, it's going to be very grieving, very alarming. But you see, the book of Ecclesiastes tells us that he who removes a hedge shall be bitten by the serpent. That hedge is a hedge of protection. One cannot remove the hedge of protection that the Lord naturally gives the person. Because once that hedge is removed, the serpent will bite. And that's in the book of Ecclesiastes. Let me see if I can bring it up. There we go. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 8. He that diggeth a pit shall fall into it, and whosoever breaketh in hedge, a serpent shall bite him. So let's go back to the video. Using pendulum oscillators of different phases on a common platform suddenly sync up given enough time. As we wait for the pendulums to sync up, we will take this opportunity to explain what happens once they do, as it might pertain to the injections currently disseminated amongst the global population. Toxic symptoms information can be transmitted to and from individuals or the group very efficiently even if they move away from the initial source. The bodies of the injected provide the electrical power, like a battery, to continue resonating these fields, effectively turning them into wireless repeaters and routers. We're witnessing lethal damage by EMF irradiation. The more graphene oxide, the greater the damage. The contagion is not a contagion because there is no pathogen. How else can you control 7 billion people? Brothers and sisters, evil spirits, they're disembodied spirits. As we know, the Lord flooded the earth for all the wickedness. The Nephilim, the men of renown that were here, when the, when the sons of God took daughters and took wives, and they had offspring that were not of the Lord, and they were mingling the seed, even the seeds of animals. So this is why the earth was flooded. Now, the body, the, these flesh, they died, but the spirits, the evil spirits, continue to roam the earth and these spirits have no bodies but with this thing that gave access to them guess what happens now they're going to have access some people say and there's images if you look up at jacob's ladder and you click on images uh, even on google you'll get the picture of a d of an n and then the first letter of the alphabet, you see, that was changed and is going to give access to these bad angels to go into the person. So may the Lord help us. And as much as we, you know, are informed to people that are out there that the media takes pictures of them, every comment that they have is written, they write articles about them or whatever. It is best for us to keep our eyes on the Lord Jesus Christ, what he has said and what he has done in the scriptures and seek his Holy Spirit for discernment that his word may speak to us now. As they call it, the Numa, the Rima word. Where are we at now and what is the Lord instructing us to do now? May the Lord's blessings be upon you. May his mercies be upon you. Keep an eye out and be aware and don't be deceived. God bless.